Hey, it's Sick Boy from the Game Anarchist Collective, and you may have to forgive me for a more subdued tone today because my throat is currently being molested by razor blades, as you can tell from the annoying cracking shit currently going on. It's really getting on my nerves. Anywho, I wanted to make this video anyway because I really felt the need to take a veteran to task. An old man by the name of Ernest W. Adams. You may not have heard of him. He has been in the game industry for a very long time. He, in fact, worked on the Dungeon Keeper games, which I absolutely adored. Now, if you're in any way involved in the Gamegate controversy, you may well remember this tweet of his. If you're an indie developer and you are supporting Gamergate, watch what you say. Your future business is at stake. Hashtag the internet is forever. Well, Ernie, it is indeed. Today, you are involved in a thread discussing an article that was going over about journalism is dead. And to be honest, journalism basically is dead. But on this thread, people were talking about, well, these people don't have control to do this. This is silly. Blah, 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 blah. And you came out with this absolute fucking gem. You know, I remember the 1970s when black activists fought to get rid of the images of the shucking and jiving, picking and grinning, tap dancing, yes a massa black person on TV and film. They didn't give a flying fuck what the viewers wanted. They didn't give a shit about the TV industry's creative freedom. They were sick of black people being portrayed as servants and amusement for white people. And they were right. And now Hollywood wouldn't dream of turning out that garbage anymore, despite the fact that, as you very well know, and there are still people out there who want it that way. So, yeah, we're going to keep on yelling until the last big boobed bimbo is as gone from gaming as the once beloved blackface. Dear God, I'm not saying that word, certainly not with a bad throat minstrel show, is gone from American stages. Don't bother trying to tell me this is different. If the entertainment business is not allowed to treat black people like shit anymore, it can damn well stop treating women like shit. Oh, fucking shit, Ernie. That was beautiful. If I may. Don't be a dick. Don't go out there and try and claim that you can make any kind of parallels with tits in video games and racism and then start talking about how America is far beyond using black people for entertainment purposes. Are you fucking mental? Frankly, we live in a post-industrial Western society, both you and I. You should know, if you had any goddamn sense, that entertainment is a major industry. And as such, pitching yourself to be in entertainment, sports or entertainment, art, music, that kind of thing, is actually a pretty decent way to make a living. So, actually, you are so out of fucking touch. And yeah, blackface is gone. But that doesn't mean that you can... This, of course, yeah, fine, Al Jolson would not be appropriate today. Of course not. It's fucking racist as shit. But you conflate serious racism. Okay, he's been going on and on and on about how, you know, racism is the same as putting women with big tits in video games. I got news for you. Al Jolson doesn't exist like that in nature. Women with big tits absolutely fucking exist. I should know. I married one. I know a large number of women with big tits. Now... You can dislike that, you can find that unfortunate because people find big breasts appealing. Some people do, some people don't. That attractive women are sought after in the media, that it's nice to look at people who are attractive. You live in a fantasy world. You know, you can dislike that all you like. You can dislike objectification, you can call it whatever you like. You can dislike models, you can want all models to lose their jobs, you can want porn to shut down. You can want those things. The problem is, all this, I won't stop until I get what I want. I won't stop until I dictate that you may not have attractive women portrayed in your video game and I will get these big-breasted bimbos out of gaming. Do you know how many big-breasted bimbos, by your definition, play games? Do you have any fucking idea how sexist and racist you fucking sound, you stupid old man? You come out with all this, 
The social justice warriors are winning crap. People hate people like you. They don't like censors. And even if they did like censors, they wouldn't like someone who conflated tits with racism. They wouldn't like someone who makes some ignorant statement like Hollywood wouldn't dream of making a black man dance for entertainment. <laughs> what fucking planet do you live on, dude? What planet do you fucking live on that you think some of the most successful entertainers are not American black men? Serious? You fucking mental. Are you mental? Fucking Google Kevin Hart once in your life, you sad piece of shit. Don't be a fucking dick. So yeah. Oh, I'll give you that racism and sexism absolutely exist and they are absolutely terrible things. But what you're looking at here is you're, you're going off on this on the grounds that the new Metal Gear Solid game has a woman in a bra and a thong. And they justify it within the universe of the game and yes, it's fucking silly. It's a Kojima game. They're all a bit fucking silly. That's kind of the point. It's melodramatic and silly. But within the logic of the game, the character is not inappropriate. Yes, fine. You could say he designed all this just so he could have that. Do you not think if he wanted to have sexy women in his game, he just put sexy women in his game? This is a game where you have a cardboard box where you can tape a model onto it. That is absolutely just, you can just throw it in there. He put quiet in there intentionally. Intentionally because he wanted to subvert your expectations. But what if you come out with, duh, it doesn't matter. Ha, huh? it's you just put it in there. Oh, she's got a disease, so it's okay. Would well, you know what? There's people with diseases and big tits. They don't want to hear this shit. What, you want to be coming across as one of these assholes shaming cancer patients or something? You know, it's just ridiculous. This isn't, you know, you act like this is some kind of progressive liberal attitude. It's not. You're a fucking Puritan. People like you are a cancer. This little clique of assholes, And in this case, you've got so far off the deep end, the IDGA have disavowed you. Look at these lovely tweets. Nobody wants people like you anymore. You're dinosaurs. And what's more, you're dangerous. You people are fucking dangerous to social discourse. You're dangerous to society in general because you seek to ban stuff you don't like. Well, do you know what? Don't consume what you don't like. If you be verbal about your dislike, but do not for one second think that you have the right to dictate your taste to others. People are getting sick of you type of, you, you type of people. You really, really are. People have had enough. It's been building for a long time. And we've had this whole year of flame baiting. And do you know what's come out at the end of it? Yeah. Say, hashtag Gamergate to a lot of people has a bad, has a bad connotation. It does. It does. It has come that way to a lot of people who have just swallowed what they've read. And they take all the shit posting and stuff. And they take that as literally, look, there's a load of twats over there. I wish they didn't, but they do. But guess what's happening? People who think Gamergate is shit are looking at people like you and going... Okay, you people are fucking mental. Because you people are fucking mental. And you're not some random channel that nobody knows. You're a major name in the game development industry. You're a major recognized name. And even the organization that you founded 20 years ago is telling you you're nothing to do with them. Get the fuck out of it. You're an embarrassment. Everyone like you is a goddamn embarrassment. And you can sit there on your fucking high horse and say, oh, look at all these people angry at me. Oh, it shows I'm right. You know what? I came across this post from you, uh, and I think I'm just going to end on this. You stated, basically, the comments are bullshit. And if you cared so much, you'd email me. So, I'll include in the description field, as well as the links to the source material, I'll include the email to Ernest's business account. So, don't give me all this doxing shit. This is a publicly available business point of contact. He wants to hear if you care about his opinion. If you cared enough, you'd drop him an email. That's his opinion. That's what he's inviting. So, I'd encourage you to perhaps have a few words. 
Perhaps you're a woman, perhaps you're a big breasted woman, perhaps you're just you know, a woman who doesn't really care that sexy women exist in gaming. Maybe you find the likes of him patronising and horrible. Or maybe you agree with him. Drop him a line and let him know. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching. I apologise for my manky throat and I'll catch you guys later.